marks 118 years since the great San Francisco earthquake. Leaders and community members are gathering to commemorate the day. Today in the base, Chris Sanchez joins us live from the event this morning. And it is always an important reminder for all of us. We've got to be prepared for the next major earthquake. Uh, absolutely. Right now we're in the part of the ceremony where le anybody who wants to paint the, fount uh, the uh, fire hydrant gets to come up and dedicate their spray. And you see a lot of native San Franciscans who are dedicating it. Many of them who have relatives who were involved in the 1906 earthquake and fire. The significance, as Laura has pointed out, of this hydrant is that it was able to help firefighters save uh, the Mission District. So with this as a backdrop, we're just getting news that several insurance companies may be pulling out of San Francisco over the risk of earthquake-induced fires. Uh, we will be working that story for our midday news because, of course, this is critical. We know that San Francisco was not just uh, devastated by an earthquake, it was devastated by the fires that followed as well that kept firefighters on guard for a very long time. So this is the second part of the ceremony. We'll listen to the singing for just a moment. Another really uh, interesting part of the ceremony happened earlier at Lada's Fount, and that's where people gathered to find their loved ones after the earthquake. We'll show you that as well. That's the moment that the siren commemorated the time that the earthquake struck San Francisco 118 years ago. And this year took on a special meaning for Lotus Fountain. It was dedicated to the memory of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein, who, of course, gave more than half of her life in service to the city and people of San Francisco. Uh, a lot of work has gone into retrofitting these buildings, making some of these buildings that have been around for almost as long as the earthquake. Um, making them safer and we see of course the city skyline a lot of the building uh, standards have changed however there's a new push to find buildings that have uh, very static concrete uh, building materials it gives it no flex in the event of an earthquake uh, the city has identified about 3,000 buildings that they want to get in and retrofit so that they can continue standing uh, into the future don't forget to be prepared we have a whole list of uh, ways that you can get prepared for the next earthquake because, as everyone here has said, it's not whether there's going to be another earthquake, it's when there's going to be an earthquake. And the question there is going to be, will you be prepared? Again, the big headline today with this beautiful backdrop in memorial of a memoriam of that San Francisco earthquake and fire is the fact that two major insurance companies may be pulling out of that fire coverage for people of San Francisco. Uh, one of them owned by Liberty Mutual, the other one is State Farm. We are going to be working that story for you for our midday news. In San Francisco, Chris Sanchez, today in the Bay.